Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vendi. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Examination in the subject Heat Transfer. So, this is the first lecture on the heat transfer. We will take few questions on the heat conduction. The first question, the conduction heat diffuses in the material when the material has high thermal conductivity, low density, high specific heat, high viscosity. Which of the above are correct? 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 1. Thermal diffusivity, alpha equal to K by rho C. So, K is the thermal conductivity of the material, rho is the density of the material and C is the specific heat. The heat diffuses in the material when the thermal conductivity is high. Density and the specific value, specific heats are low. So, here high thermal conductivity, first option is correct and second option is low density. These two are correct, high viscosity, high specific heat that will not increases the diffusion of heat energy into the material. So, the thermal conductivity, high thermal conductivity and low density, they will diffuse, it will, it will diffuse the heat energy more in the material. There is a second question. In an equation of Fourier law of heat conduction, the heat flow through a body per unit time, Q is given by minus K A dt by dx. The negative sign of K in this equation is to take care of, there are four options given, decreasing the temperature along the direction of increasing thickness, increasing the temperature along the direction of increasing thickness, constant temperature along the direction of, direction with the constant thickness all the above. The correct answer is decreasing temperature along the direction of increasing thickness. So, when you go in the positive x direction, the temperature will decrease because of the heat transfer. So, the negative sign will take, take care of decrease in temperature along the direction of increasing the thickness. Next question, there is a uniform distributed source of heat present in a plane wall whose one side x equal to 0 is insulated and the other side x equal to L is exposed to the ambient temperature T infinity. The heat transfer with the heat transfer coefficient H, assuming constant thermal conductivity, the steady state and one dimensional heat conduction, the temperature of the wall is maximum at x equal to 0, L, L by 2, L by 4. The temperature will be maximum at the insulated surface where x equal to 0. The heat transfer will be 0 at the insulated surface. K A dt by dx equal to 0, which means dt by dx equal to 0. The temperature di temperature gradient at x equal to 0 is 0. So, the maximum temperature will occur at x equal to 0. Next question, consider the following statements. An increase in pin fin effectiveness is caused by high values of convective coefficient, thermal conductivity, sectional area, circumference. Which of the above statements are correct? 1 and 3, 1 and 4. 2 and 3 and 2 and 4, the fin effectiveness will be increased by selecting material of high thermal conductivity, increasing perimeter to area ratio, use of fins where h value is small, thin and closely spaced fins. So, considering the answer for the uh, effectiveness, increasing effectiveness of the fin, the correct answer are 2 and 4, thermal conductivity and the circumferential area. Next question, in a wall of constant thermal conductivity, the temperature profile of heat conduction in the presence of heat source inside the wall is linear, logarithmic, parabolic and hyperbolic. The correct answer is parabolic. So, we will see here in the slide the answer. The, the temperature distribution of for one dimensional heat transfer with the internal heat generation is given by T equal to Q dot. Q dot is the amount of heat generated. L square by 8K into 1 minus 2X by L whole square plus TW. The temperature profile is parabolic as shown in the figure. So, this is the temperature profile where TW1 equal to TW2. So, it is parabolic temperature profile. The next question, a fin will be more effective when Biot number is greater than 1, equal to 1, between 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 and less than 1. So, the answer, Biot number is given by HL by K. 
The fin effectiveness will be increased by selecting material of higher thermal conductivity, increasing perimeter to area ratio, fin with higher lower smaller value of H values, uh, heat transfer coefficient and uh, thin and closely spaced fins. So, looking at the Biot number, so the Biot HL by K, H is the heat transfer coefficient, K is the thermal conductivity. So, when the Biot number is lower value, right, less than 1, the heat trans thermal conductivity will be very high. So, the heat transfer coefficient will be low. So, the fin will be more effective when the Biot number is less than 1. The purpose of providing fins on the heat transfer surface is to increase temperature gradient so as to enhance the heat transfer by convection, effective surface area to promote rate of heat transfer by convection, turbulence in the flow for enhancing heat transfer by convection, pressure drop of the fluid. The correct answer is the purpose of providing fin on the heat transfer surface is to increase the effective surface area to promote rate of heat transfer by convection. That is the correct answer. Next question, a flat wall with thermal conductivity of 0 0.2 kilowatt per meter Kelvin has its inner and outer surfaces of temperature 600 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Celsius respectively. If the heat flux through the wall is 200 kilowatts per meter square, what is the thickness of the wall? There are four options, 10 centimeter, 20 centimeter, 30 centimeter and 40 centimeter. The correct answer, so the thickness of the wall L equal to K into T1 minus T2 divided by Q. So, heat flux. So, K is 0 0.2 kilowatts per meter Kelvin, 600 minus 200 divided by 200 equal to 0 0.4 meter, which is 40 centimeter. The answer is 40 centimeter. Next question, a wall of 0 0.6 meter thickness has a normal area 1.5 meter square and is made up of material of thermal conductivity 0 0.4 watts per meter Kelvin. If the temperature on the two sides of the wall are 800 degrees Celsius and 1000 degrees Celsius, thermal resistance of the wall is 1.8 Kelvin by Watt, 1.8 Watts per Kelvin, 1 Kelvin by Watts, 1 Watts per Kelvin. So, the answer to the question, thermal resistance of the wall R equal to L by Ka, so which is substituting the values 0 0.6, L is 0 0.6 and K is 0 0.4 and area equal to 1.5 meter square. So, calculate it is 1 Kelvin per watts. The answer is 1 Kelvin per watts. So, we stop here. So, this are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you can read the book for your better preparation and I upload the video lecture of all the subject in the YouTube channel. Subscribe the channel. Use the videos for your better preparation. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me through my number or the email ID. We will meet again in another video lecture on heat conduction from the UPSC engineering service examination. Until then, bye.